Have there been any challenges this year while setting up the market? Compared to last year, everything is a breeze. <laughs> COVID created a lot of chaos um, and a little safety precautions. It was just like a lot more work um, managing people and crowd flow and just trying to keep it safe. So this year has been easy compared to last year. And how do you choose your vendors? So we try and find vendors as local as possible. We have like a hundred mile radius that we try and stick to. Certain products, obviously, you just we don't really produce a lot of maple syrup here. So like things like that. And then meat, there's really not a good source of uh, meat in the quantities that we would need here for our customer base. So we have a few vendors that come from with outside that hundred miles, um, but they're because they're missing locally. So we don't have a huge pool of farmers here on Cape Cod. Two of our four farmers are from Falmouth, which is actually nice, um, but a lot of them come from off the bridge where the, there's more farmland. And what are you looking forward to for the rest of the summer? Oh, I mean, I'm a big fruit fan. So like if we're talking food, anything, the fruit's coming out. We got plums and peaches this week and blueberries showed up this week. So the fruit's happening and I'm really looking forward to more fruits. And then the winter squashes are always like... When I start to see those, I'm like a little bittersweet, but I can't wait to try them. Yeah, I would like to add that um, we have a great program here called Share Your Bounty. And if you have extra produce in your garden, or if you have an, uh, just an abundance of food um, from visitors and you wanted to donate those to the service center, we actually have a pickup location here on Thursdays for that very purpose. So you can bring canned goods, you can bring garden produce, and you can also buy things at the market to donate to the service center. And so we encourage people to come by the market with their extra produce or canned goods to donate to the service center. Being outside and enjoying the community and listening to the music and talking to all the other people here and the customers, it's, it just really feels like summer. Oh, it's a great, it's a great event. I mean, I encourage everyone to come down. There's 25 different vendors here and we have music from two to four, always different, uh, but always enjoyable. And <clears throat> this year we have a, a book uh, booth where you can meet an author, buy their book, and <laughs> you know, it's just really nice and it brings out all the best of Cape Cod, I think. So it was a weekender, and it would bring people down from Boston to Woods Hole very rapidly. Wow. I grew up on Surf Drive, as a matter of fact, so I thought I could paint this and uh, bring back some nostalgia from the early 60s in Falmouth. Probably the Knobska Point, when the big one, um, everybody loves Knobska because it's one of the most favorite lighthouses on Cape Cod. Um, I like animals, I've got lions, I've got orcas, I've got owls. Um, most excited for people to get into the arts.